Okay folks, welcome to another SketchUp tutorial. Today I'm going to take you through how to transfer this floor plan, which believe it or not I actually did receive in reality from a designer, um, onto Google SketchUp, um, making sure that all the dimensions are accurately transferred. So what I actually did was I created this floor plan in AutoCAD, and this is the AutoCAD interface in all its glory. Um, and now I'm going to create a 3D model of this room, but obviously in order to do that, I have to get the dimensions of the actual space um, onto SketchUp. So what I'm gonna do for the purposes of this tutorial is just import an image of that actual floor plan, just to make it easier for me uh, to see it. Now what I'm going to do is go to camera, standard views and top to get a bird's eye view as I'm uh, creating this floor plan. I'm also going to go to camera because it's actually in perspective mode at the minute and you can see that by looking at the blue axis it's actually at an angle. If I go to parallel projection it's actually going to make that uh, with no perspective whatsoever. This is a completely flat um, view of this uh, from a bird's eye view. So I'm going to click on the move tool and move this to the side. And then I'm going to start typing in uh, the dimensions using the line tool. So the first one is 3250. I'm going to start at my origin and then follow up in the direction that I want to go on the green axis and type in 3250. Then I'm going to go across following the red axis, making sure that it's uh, a perfectly true and straight line and type in 2360. Then I'm going to follow that up. You'll notice here there's actually a little bit of a, a wall here. I don't actually have that dimension, so I'm going to go in here very quickly and get that dimension. One, four, two. Then nine hundred. Moving on up again, four, six, seven point seven two. Bringing it across, making sure I'm following the red axis. Three, four, zero, zero. And then 4760. And then just connect that up to this endpoint. And you'll see that, that now this becomes a face. Uh, you need at least a minimum of three lines connected in SketchUp before it will create a face. Um, just to make sure, just to double check some of my dimensions, I'm going to click on the tape measure tool, click one endpoint, click the other. Wait, well, even if you just hover over that, you can see there it's 4760. It also shows up in this box as well. So if I go over that again, you can see it says 4760. Um, press escape to cancel that. I'll click this endpoint and hover here, 5760, and you can see that, um, that that's correct. Now, conveniently enough, all the wall thicknesses in this room are the same, they're 150 mil. So what I'm gonna do is use my offset tool and click and then drag and you can see that this, the actual shape on the boundary is being replicated. Now I have to type in the distance that I want. So I'm gonna type in 150 and that's basically the outline of that room. It's important to note that when you create a geometry in SketchUp it works to a scale of 1 1 so it's actually real life measurements that you're putting in. You don't have to work anything out to scale. Um, it's exactly as it is in reality. Here you can see that there's actually a doorway 
um, and this is it here. So I'm just going to connect those lines to show that. Um, and there's no actual windows in this room. So if I go to perspective mode, you can see that the axis of the blue line has changed and is now at an angle and orbit. Then select push pull. It's only going to select the outer boundary up until here because it is broken with these two lines, but that's okay. And then pull up and type in 2400. Okay, so this is the actual doorway. I'm going to connect that again. And then delete that. And this is your actual 3D model um, of this floor plan.